Wolves are revered by many as embodying primal intelligence, beauty, and familial cooperation, while dogs are our cherished companions which are eager to please and are an essential part of human society. When it comes to dogs, there are probably few, if any, animal species of which it is more taboo to needlessly kill in Western societies. Sadly, one Montana woman did just this and she's now defending her actions. On September 23, 2022, 36-year-old hunter Amber Rose Barnes took to Facebook to boast about her latest kill, a so-called wolf pup taken during her hunt for a black bear. I got the opportunity to take another predator wolf pup 2022 was a great feeling to text my man and say I just smoked a wolf pup, she posted on her social media with the hashtag one less predator MT. Pictured was what was to many obviously a dog resembling a Siberian Husky. In the graphic photos, Rose posed, beaming with pride, holding the domesticated animal's body, which she also skinned. The post subsequently went viral, as social media users were outraged that the animal was obviously not a wolf. While Rose never made any mention of it originally, she responded to the backlash in another Facebook post that she killed the animal because it was attacking her and that she thought it was a wolf hybrid. To all, a lot of things in your articles and posts are not true whatsoever. I purchased my wolf tag prior to leaving for a bear hunt in the event I ran into a wolf in which I came to an encounter with what I thought could be a hybrid during this time. My safety was top priority. This animal was growling, howling, and coming at me like it was going to eat me. Yes, I made a mistake because I did think it was a hybrid wolf pup, but I was not aware of a 19 dogs being dropped 11 months miles into the wilderness. Either way, yes, I would still have shot it because it was aggressive and coming directly for me. So please remove all your posts thinking I just shot and killed someone's pet. I am human. Did I make a mistake thinking it was a hybrid wolf pup? However, there are no charges are against me as I did not break any laws. I'm not a cruel individual just put killing people pets. The dog that was killed was sadly confirmed to be one of the 10 Husky and Shepherd mixes that were dumped in the woods by an unknown person. Most of the dogs were captured by local citizens who turned them over to animal control, where they were placed in a shelter. Many of the dogs had parvovirus and are currently being treated. Authorities are currently working to determine if Rose had a valid hunting license to take the dog that she mistook for a wolf. But otherwise, as of current, no disciplinary action is being taken. How did this unfortunate event take place? Do huskies and other related breeds really look like wolves? What features make a dog appear more wild? There are some dog breeds that can take on a more wild or natural appearance. The Czechoslovakian wolf dog is a breed intentionally bred to resemble their closest living ancestor. This large breed of dog has what is called primitive characteristics. Like the Spitz dog breeds, it has prick ears like wolves, but also a variable coat color that is yellow-gray to silver-gray and that feature probably gives it its wolf-like appearance compared to, say, a German Shepherd. Siberian Huskies can superficially resemble this breed, but some clearly distinguishable differences are how well-defined the markings are on most of them. Most non-white Huskies have bold markings where their dark colorations are separated from the white portions of their fur, including the mask on their head and the rims of their ears. And these features are easy to spot on a dog that Rose killed. There are several subspecies of wolves, and they can vary in appearance, but none truly resemble Huskies. Some wolves and wolf dogs have larger ears, while others are smaller and thickly furred. Other features that have been suggested to determine wolfiness include the shape and the color of the eyes, the length of the legs and muzzle, the unevenness of the fur, and the width of the chest. However, there is no one feature that definitively belongs to wolves, especially since some dogs are intentionally bred to look wolf-like, even incorporating some wolf dog blood into their breeding programs. Despite this, wolves and dogs are certainly not the same, and dogs do not descend from modern wolves. The behavior of most domesticated dogs is often markedly different from wild wolves. Attacks against humans from truly wild wolves are rare in modern times, and the attacking behavior described by Rose, if she is telling the truth, does not sound like typical wolf behavior. However, as Rose did backtrack her comments to suggest her hunt was in self-defense after she was subjected to criticism and there are no reports of the other dogs that were rescued displaying severely aggressive behavior, her claims remain suspect.
There has been a suggestion that perhaps the common practice of people proclaiming that they own wolves that are actually dogs can be partially to blame for Rose's mistake. Huskies and similar breeds are also used in the film industry to play wolves, which may be skewing the public's perception of what the animal looks like. However, a hunter should be adequately educated about the environment and the animals they may encounter. It is extremely concerning that even upon close inspection, the animal Rose shot was still so poorly identified. It is also pretty upsetting that she would have found the need to kill any so-called wolf she came across simply for existing. Hunters should double as stewards of the environment and are a detriment to our society if they are reckless and ignorant.